next, it's a heavyweight clash between Justin Gaethje and Dustin Poirier. So you got Ron Gidry, Louisiana Lightning. You got Daniel Cormier, the two-division UFC champion. But now Dustin Poirier, on the strength of a UFC interim lightweight title, has a key to the city of Lafayette. And he will try to add to his significant legacy in this spot here tonight. The king of Lafayette, Dustin Poirier, he loves that city, and he embodies everything that the city stands for. Yeah. He's tough. He's durable. He's a guy that is looking for a fight. And in the fight with Max Holloway to win the title, you saw that he's willing to go through anything to accomplish his goals. A truly special athlete is Dustin Poirier. And it's amazing to think where he was after that knockout loss to Michael Johnson in a main event in Hidalgo, Texas in 2016. Refocused, rededicated himself, and was able to produce a UFC title. All eyes on Dustin Poirier as he gets back on the fame canvas here tonight. The most exciting man in mixed martial arts today. My fantasy football team is Team Gaethje. Justin Gaethje, since signing with the UFC a few years ago, has absolutely taken this promotion by storm. And he's only in main events. He's only in main events because you know, when you put Justin Gaethje at the top of the marquee, people will show up to watch in the arena, but they will also tune in on their television sets, on their computers, their laptops, on your PS4 or your Xbox, regardless of the console, people will show up to watch Justin Gaethje fight. All action fighter, has great wrestling, but it's his boxing and his leg kicks that has truly made him special to fight fans all around the world. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 31. Poirier will have a two inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Ladies Buffer. and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 29 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Justin, the highlight, Gaethje! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making fun. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Too. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge of the striking to carry them to victory. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish his fight. Big knee to the body. Gaethje gets caught with that punch. Oh, that's a big connection for Justin Gaethje and really just loves being in that. I'm not sure anybody loves fighting as much as Gaethje. People don't enjoy being in someone's face, getting punched and landing punches as much as Justin Gaethje. He's right where he wants to be. 
He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Dustin Poirier. Oh, eight in the head. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. Just out of range with the big right hand. Gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot. That's it. Poirier's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. 26 total strikes now for Justin Gaethje. Back to the overhand now. That one's good. Caught by that straight punch, that'll get his attention. And they separate. Big punch lands in the middle. Stuffs the takedown. All right, so no now he's on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of the submissions to pop here tonight. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Round two, Justin Gaethje versus Dustin Poirier. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Poirier's now dealing with a cheat cut. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent got him more low. But now he's got him hurt very bad. Alright, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Poirier going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes. Mixing it up pretty well here. Back to his feet. Just missed on the overhand leg. Nice head kick. Well, these numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 43 total strikes have landed for Justin Gage. Landing with 46. Oh, oh he's got it from here. Oh, oh! Oh! In there, DC. Another punch land. And both guys really throwing with authority. <laughs> Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Man, what a fight. Oh, he's had a punch strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. That he landed. Great job. Under a minute now to go in the round. You see, he's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight are the ones that get there first, and they got right to the target. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. 
All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, hammer fist here by Dustin Poirier. Back to the feet now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Timely defense there. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. See if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. You know, he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Poirier. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Ninety seconds to go. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. One minute to go in the round. Gate Cheese Hammer Fist is blocked by the defense. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 24 seconds at round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Justin the Highlight Gage. Celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion 
than he ever could have imagined.